because it's going straight to the point. No scriptures all day. Most scriptures all day and get straight to the point and it'll keep you just too long. But to be in the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Shah, to the best of your ability, keep the law statute your commandments, man. Let's get it. John 15 to 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Right? So we keep the commandments, we abide in love. Because what is love? All right? Let's get to it. Look at John, First John four and ten. Herein is love, not that we loved power, but that He loved us, um, and sent His Son to be the perpetuation for our sins. So that was love right there. That was love. And what did Yahweh Shai do when He got hurt? He, he taught of the Father. He taught the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Same thing we're doing. That's love. That's the full love teaching of the law, statutes, and commandments. Full love to show you to your brother by you right because. And your brother ain't, or your sister ain't not keeping the law, statutes, commandments. They don't love you, man. Because love is if you keep the law, statutes, commandments. And you read that all through First John, man. John 14 15 if you love me keep my commandments that's love man right and then when you get down to 1st Corinthians like if you get down to 1st Corinthians um, 13 you get to chapter um, verse 4 on down it leads them up right let's go to another verse so y'all can understand right So it's going to be two different versions. I got a new international version of it, and I got the, the King James version. I'm going to go from the King James to look at from. If you can't understand the King James, I got another version up for you. On 1 Corinthians 13 and 4, charity is separate with loan. Right? I Meaning love is patient. And it's kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunts not itself. Is not puffed up. So it says love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. So it's not puffed up. It's not vaunty. It is not envious. Right, it suffereth long. Right, it's kind. Right, it says verse five: Do not behave itself unseemly; seeketh not her own; is not easily provoked; thinketh no evil. It says love does not delight. I mean, it's like this another one. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. So those men that are self-seeking, they're in their own, trying to bring out their own glory. Hey, that's not love. 
You in it for yourself. That's not love. It is not easily angered. It's kept no record of wrongs, right? See that? Then you get the next verse. It says, do not behave itself unseemly. Seek not her own. It's not easily provoked. Think of no evil, right? So it don't do nothing but truth. Love is just truth. Because it don't delight in ego, it, um, evils. It don't delight in um, being angry or self-seeking, um, um, how can I say, self-seeking gains, right? Self-seeking gains or um, right? It says, um, verse 6, Rejoice not in iniquity, rejoice not in sin, but rejoice in the truth, and it's for the truth. Love is the truth, man. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Then it says, this is what love is is man it also protects always trusts always hopes always preserves it. preserves right so that's 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 our love that's the love the lord wants to show and wants to give out to the dark kinsman according to the flesh man all right so what is love love we keep the law such commandments <laughs> and we keep the commandments and you read that in John 15, we keep the commandments. We should abide in love with the Heavenly Father. All right? And this is what is in 1 Corinthians 7, just to prove a point. Add on to what I, my last video. Um, 1 Corinthians 7 and 19. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing. So to the Israelites, there was um, the law, law, law. And to the Israelites, didn't, didn't have the law, law, law. Didn't get circumcised. Then, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the parents that were Gentile, it is like foreigners. Those um, Israelites that didn't know about the law, still it was nothing, right? Because we all are one in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah, because the Lord going to bring those Israelite foreigners that are considered Gentile into the fold as well. But not not them, the natural born Gentile, right? But the Israelites that are considered Gentile that don't know who they are, right? It says that them are the uncircumcised Israelites. It says, but the keeping of the commandments of power is what? Is uncircumcision is nothing, circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing but keeping the commandments of power. Right? That's what's the big deal. Keeping the commandments. But let every man abide the same calling wherein he was called. Right? See that? So he's called to be uh, the workmen of Yahabash and Yahushah, his servants, until he make us his friends. Right? All right, this is verse on um, John, First um, John two and four. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So those that say the the men of the Lord kept the law, statutes, commandments perfectly, it's precepts that to back up the claims that they didn't. That men, men were sinning, Israelites were sinning, and that's why the Lord put them to death. All right, it was either Israelites that lied to the Holy Spirit during the time um, after Hamashiach, which they was getting put to death, man, because they was lying on the Spirit. Right, so you said people, the Israelites kept the uh, law, such commandments, uh, perfectly was a lie, man. All right, all right, and this is how you know if we are children, Lord, how, if we love the commandments, if we keep the commandments. Um, this is first John, that's good, three and 24. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him. And he and him and hereby we know that the, he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. All right. But just keep going into keeping them commandments. First uh, John five and two. By this we know that we love the children of power when we love power and keep his commandments. And do what keep his commandments. <laughs> Verse three. For this is the love of power that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Man, let's get that Greek word for grievous. I'm gonna close it. Uh, Greek 926, Barus, Barus, from the same as Greek 922, weighty, that is, figuratively burdensome, grave, grievous, heavy weighter. So, hey, the commandments are not heavy on us, man. they supposed to lift us up, man. Right? They're supposed to lift us up, and we're supposed to be able to fly like Icarus away, man. And not our wings won't melt, man. Right? So, that's just me synonymous speaking that we're supposed to be on high within the law statute commandments to the best of our ability, man. Other y'all watching y'all shot, man. So again, man, 
If you love the Lord, you will keep the law, such commandments, man, to the best of your ability, man. Why have your utmost faith, man? So with that, call the Lion Blood, Allah, and now we have about Shimam Shah, about Shimam Kapadash. Double honors to the elder apostle and the bishops of great mustons do well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful left. Shalom, shalom, wa ba ba, shalom, Israel.